Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah from The Trimming Detroiter. If you are new here, welcome. I'm glad that you're here today. I run a lifestyle blog over at thetrimmingdetroiter.com. So if you like all things lifestyle, like fashion and food and home decor and travel, please be sure to check out thetrimmingdetroiter.com when you're done here today. And be sure to hit that big red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my videos. So for today's video, I thought that I would share with you guys my recent Elemis skincare haul. Elemis is a luxury skincare brand originating in Great Britain and I have become super obsessed with their products. I love that they give me like a spa-like feel at home without having to actually go to an expensive spa. So if you are looking for some new products for your own skincare routine, please stick around here and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up when you're done watching. Okay, so what is Elemis? So like I mentioned, it is a luxury skincare brand that originated in Great Britain and their kind of claim to fame is that they mix scientifically proven um, ingredients with natural ingredients in order to create a winning skincare line. So they were founded in 1990 and they really were among the forefront in terms of companies that were trying to focus on really holistic and natural approaches to skincare with kind of a push more to clean beauty these days. I think that that's a great thing to kind of revisit, making sure that our skincare is holistic and safe for the environment and safe for our skin. So they formulate their products with natural plant extracts that are responsibly sourced from natural sources. And they really strive to create packaging also that is environmentally friendly and reduces waste, which I also really appreciate. So like some other clean beauty product lines, they try to keep their products products free of a lot of different chemicals. So their products are free from formaldehydes, artificial dyes, DEA, parabens, phthalates, retinol palmitate, a lot of other products. You can find a list of all the products on their website. The Elemis skincare line is available at Ulta and Nordstrom in addition to, of course, being available on their own website at elemis.com. Okay, so why do I love Elemis? I want to talk about that a little bit before I get into the specific products that I purchased in this haul and that I have been using recently because it is an expensive brand. It definitely does take a higher cost to kind of use the skincare brand than other skincare lines. And so, you know, what is the advantage? What is really the pull of the Elemis brand compared to other less expensive skincare lines? So first of all, I really love the balancing of science with natural products that they really tout in all of their products in their line. Being in the medical field myself, I really appreciate the scientific aspect of what they're trying to do. And also, of course, the natural aspect of wanting to keep my skincare routine really clean and safe for myself and safe for the environment. So keeping that kind of clinical aspect in mind, I really love that they use third party vendors to clinically test their products throughout this video, I will be referencing several different of their like consumer trials that they have done showing, you know, what the um, success rate is or how, you know, pleased people are with the products based on that sort of data. I also really love that their products contain a lot of great ingredients that help to rejuvenate and replenish the skin naturally. They contain peptides and collagens and all sorts of like really great stuff in there that I will definitely get into the specifics of for each product. But I really appreciate that kind of natural approach to helping my skin to replenish itself. One of my favorite things about the Elemis line is that it really gives me like that spa like vibe at home that I mentioned earlier. Uh, of course, the products are a little bit more expensive when you look at kind of skincare as like a whole industry, but I think that the money is well spent on these products because it does really give you that amazing spa like feel at home, like you're doing something really special for your skin. A couple of other things I really like about it are that they are cruelty free, which is very important to me. We are pet lovers in our family, and all of the products also have a really nice texture, which I appreciate. There's nothing that feels like it's leaving a film on my skin or like kind of caking on or like not leaving a nice texture on my skin. So that's something that is really fantastic. And lastly, I really like that part of their sort of mantra is that they are focused on eliminating waste in their packaging. I think that's something that a lot of companies could probably kind of get on board with these days. And so I do appreciate that they'd really make an effort to do that. Okay, so without any further ado, I have 11 products to share with you guys today. I'm really excited to get into these products and kind of share with you the pros, the cons, what my overall opinion of each product is, and to help you guys find any new products that you may need for your own skincare regimen. Okay, so first I picked up, I don't know if I can hold them all in my hands at the same time. Okay, so first I picked up the Balancing Essentials Collection. So I picked this up because I do have kind of combination skin Skin that is fairly prone to blemishes even you know into my mid 30s now so I did want to try this out kind of this system of skincare so it contains a cleansing milk a toner a um, day cream and then also a lavender skin repair mask so I chose to purchase the set um, but I will go over each item individually because you can purchase them on their own so first up is the balancing lime blossom cleanser so this is a purifying cleansing milk that helps to soothe balance and repair any problematic skin areas that you have so this is actually 
actually kind of a new type of product for me. I am very much used to the face washes where you get your face kind of damp and you either use a foaming face wash, which I actually will um, show you guys one of their products as well later on. So this you actually apply to dry skin. So I will usually pump about two pumps onto my fingertips and then kind of massage it in all over my skin. And then I will also get it down into sort of my chin and my neck area as well. So I let it kind of rest for about one minute and then I will prepare a warm wet washcloth and then I will kind of wipe it off of my face. Then I'll either let my skin usually air dry or sometimes I will kind of pat it dry with a clean dry towel in order to then continue my skincare routine. So first of all, in terms of the pros for this product, it's very gentle and very moisturizing and hydrating and I really appreciate that. This is my first time using a cleansing milk and I actually really like the whole um, like applying it to your skin when it's dry and kind of rubbing it in, letting it sit a little while. I usually am not a fan of like having water dripping down my face while I'm washing my face. So this is kind of a nice alternative. It's also great for sensitive skin types and also for dry skin and mature skin. It does contain an ingredient called lime blossom. This helps to really balance and repair skin if you have any problematic areas on your skin. And it's also really helpful for balancing out skin that might be prone to acne or blemishes like my skin is. Um, I do have combination type skin and especially around kind of my nose area and my chin, I do tend to get a little bit more oily. I really feel like this product helps to even everything out and to really soothe that, that area of my skin as well. One con that I will mention several times in this video of some of the Elemis skincare line products is that they are very heavily scented. I really love this. I love that it gives sort of an aromatherapy almost vibe to the products themselves, a very spa-like feel in my own bathroom at home. However, I do appreciate that some people are very sensitive to different aromas and different smells. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be pointing out to you which products I think are more heavily scented and which are not as heavily scented so that you can kind of make that judgment for yourself if you feel like something might be too scented for you. So that being said, with this product, it is fairly heavily scented. I do really love it. It's sort of a refreshing floral scent and so I really appreciate it, but if you find that scented products are too much for you, then I would probably stay away from this product. Secondly, it's not great for oily skin types. So if you have primarily oily skin, I would probably recommend something that's more like a gel cleanser or a foaming cleanser. I have one coming up for you guys that I will recommend. It also claims that it can remove your makeup and I don't think it does a great job with at doing that specifically. Maybe I put a lot more makeup on than the average person, I don't know. But I typically use a micellar water cleanser for removing my makeup before I use my facial cleanser. So that's never really been a problem for me. But if you do rely on your face wash to remove all of your makeup, this one doesn't do the best job at that. So overall, my thoughts on this product are that I really love it. I feel like it's really hydrating my skin. I love being able to leave it on there and kind of do other things while I'm preparing my the rest of my skincare routine or preparing a warm washcloth to wipe it off with. I feel like it really works very well for kind of soothing the skin and hydrating the skin. And as a side note, I actually recently got my eyebrows microbladed. They are currently in that sort of weird stage where they don't really look that great, but my touch up is coming up in a few weeks. But I really love this because you're not supposed to get your eyebrows wet during that process of healing. And so this was perfect for that because I could just lather it all over my face and really easily avoid my eyebrow area and then just wipe it off with a damp cloth and I never had any problems getting water like splashed onto my face. Okay, so next up is the Balancing Lavender Toner. So this is an alcohol-free purifying toner that helps to rebalance the skin in terms of its pH after you wash your face and also helps to really purify and hydrate the skin. So this is an alcohol-free purifying toner that helps to rebalance the skin's pH after you've cleansed it and it also helps to really soothe and soften and purify the skin. So it contains a lot of great ingredients. It contains lavender, as you can probably tell by the name, which is an essential oil that helps with anxiety. So it can be very calming for the skin, but also for like you in general while you're using it, since it's a really great aroma. It also contains saponins, including sweet betty flower. And so these are ingredients that act as like natural soap-like compounds actually. So some of the pros for this product, why I really love it, are first of all, that's very gentle for the skin, which is I really appreciate because my skin is a little bit more sensitive. Secondly, I really love the spray feature that it has. I think that's fantastic for a toner. I feel like a lot of times I'm kind of spilling toner sometimes and wasting it a little bit. So you can either spray this directly onto your face and neck area, or actually I will spray it onto a cotton pad sometimes, especially when I was trying to avoid my <laughs> eyebrow area. And then you can wipe that around your face as well. But I really love the spray feature because it does allow for very even coverage if you are spraying it directly onto your face. In addition, it's good for all skin types. However, it's especially good for combination skin types, which is perfect for me. And it also has a really lovely scent. I love the smell of lavender. I know that not everybody does, but it's something that I really, really love. I really appreciate that in my skincare. And it's great because if I'm using this before bedtime, it helps to kind of calm the skin, calm me down a little bit before sleep. That being said, one of the cons that I would say is that this is heavily scented, as I mentioned earlier. So if you do have issues with aromas, I would probably steer clear of this. So my 
my thoughts about this product are that I would definitely recommend it if you are okay with the strong aroma of lavender and you're looking for a new toner. I think that the spray feature is great. I think it works really well at kind of balancing out the skin and my pH before I put on any of my um, other moisturizers or creams or serums. If you guys have watched some of my skincare videos recently, you'll know that I have been looking for a new toner after my Bobbi Brown toner is pretty much no longer available. I'm pretty sure I haven't heard about it in like two months since I ordered it. And so I think this is a really great luxury alternative toner. It's really gentle, but it's very powerful. It does a great job at smoothing out my skin and prepping it for my other products. And so I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a new toner for your own skincare routine. So next up is the Hydra Balance Day Cream. So this is the third product in the Balancing Essentials collection. And this is an ultra light day cream for normal two combination skin types. And it really helps to balance and hydrate the skin. So I really love using this in conjunction with the toner and the cleansing milk that I showed you guys earlier. I think it's a really great kind of product line, especially if you're looking for something to sort of reset your whole skincare routine. If you have blemish prone skin like I do, I think that this whole set is like a really great kind of reset for my skin, which I really appreciate. So it also contains hyaluronic acid for hydration, which I love. If you guys have seen my other videos, you'll know that I am a really big proponent of hyaluronic acid as part of my skincare routine. And so I love that with this cream, I already have that in there. I don't have to worry about like another serum. So this contains meadow sweet extract, which is an amino acid rich ingredient, which helps to firm the skin and also to regulate oil production in the skin. And then it also contains a lot of great aromatic ingredients such as pettigrain, neroli, and mandarin. And so these or oils that provide a really nice like aromatherapy component to the cream. The pros are that it is very highly antioxidant rich, which is great. I love that it contains hyaluronic acid, like I mentioned, because then you don't have to add an extra step to your skincare routine. And another really great thing is that this is not as scented as some of the other Elemis products. And so if you're looking for a good day cream to kind of balance things out and reset your skin, this is a really great option, especially if you have that kind of combination type skin like I do. And if you have like an adverse reaction to heavily scented products, this one is not too bad. So overall, I feel like this is a great day cream. I actually use this every day in the morning after I've washed my face and put my toner on. I am using this with the other products in the Essentials Balancing Collection right now, and I think it's a really great day cream. I think it does a really great job at hydrating and kind of locking in that moisture into my skin, and I feel that it really preps my skin well for my makeup. So the last item in the Balancing Essentials Collection is the Herbal Lavender Repair Mask. So this is a soothing facial clay mask that helps to purify and soothe the skin. So first of all, it contains a lot of great stuff. So it contains essential oils from rosemary, from thyme, from lavender, which all help to really soothe and calm the skin. It also contains kaolin, which is a mineral rich white clay that helps to purify dull, blemish, and congested skin. So in terms of the pros for this product, first of all, it can be used with any type of skin type, but it is most ideal for sensitive skin that is prone to blemishes. Also, when I use this, it does give a really nice like tingling sensation. So it kind of gives you that feeling like it is definitely working and helping and doing something to your skin. In terms of the cons, it does not have a lot of aroma. So this is like a pro or a con, depending on which way you look at it. I don't think it's like super lavender smelling. So that's a con in my opinion, because I do love the aroma of lavender. However, if once again, you are too sensitive to those types of aromas, this might be a really good face mask product for you. So I use this about once a week in my morning routine, typically on the weekends when I have a little bit more free time in the morning. And I find that it helps really to help smooth out my skin when I've been using it regularly, which is great. I like to use it actually right before I jump in the shower. And so I'll put this on, let my face, you know, sit for 10 or 15 minutes and then kind of rinse everything off in the shower. So overall, I feel like this mask does a really good job at exfoliating my skin very gently, um, keeping it moisturized. I think it helps to smooth out my complexion overall. And I really love the essential oils in it because I feel like it helps to soothe my skin when it's feeling a little bit more dull and irritated and kind of tired. Moving on from the Balancing Essentials collection, I wanted to share some other products with you. So this is the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Cleansing Foam. Um, so this is a foaming micellar cleanser, which helps to remove dirt and makeup from the skin while also hydrating the skin. It contains a bunch of great like superfoods. So the Sika, of course, the namesake of the product, um, and also kefir is another ingredient. Those both help to soothe and calm the skin. There's also mango and olive extracts, which really help to cleanse the skin. And then fermented agave, which also helps to provide hydration and moisture for the skin. So in terms of the pros, I think this does a really good job at removing makeup in addition to cleansing the skin. I really love that it's a foaming cleanser. It just feels like it's doing so much work on your skin. I think that might be part of the reason why it does a better job than say the milk cleanser that I showed you guys earlier at removing makeup and dirt from the skin in addition to cleansing. It is also vegan friendly and 100% sulfate free and it smells 
amazing like it's so refreshing i absolutely love using this first thing in the morning it really has like such a refreshing lovely aroma in the morning that it makes me just feel so ready to start the day so a couple of cons for this product so first of all of course with all foaming cleansers it's not really recommended for use on dry skin secondly which is not a big deal but it doesn't work very well with my cleansing brush so i have one of these like electric cleansing brushes from vanity planet which I'm super obsessed with. And unfortunately the foaming cleansing washes don't really work very well with it. They don't tend to like suds up anymore with the brush itself. So I will tend to use just a regular kind of um, gel based cleanser when I'm using this. So overall my opinion of this is that I love to use this in the morning. I think it does a really great job at removing makeup and excess kind of dirt. I love that it smells really, really refreshing. And I really love how lightweight the product is as well. It doesn't feel like really heavy on my skin. It really feels like it's doing a great job to kind of refresh the skin, hydrate the skin and kind of get it prepped for the rest of my skincare routine. Okay, so next up is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream with SPF 30. So this is a daily anti-aging moisturizing um, combination gel cream product. It contains SPF 30 and it helps to reduce the visibility of fine lines and wrinkles in the skin. And then it also helps to firm skin and to rehydrate it. And it can actually work if you use it on a regular basis within just 14 days. Now that sounds like a crazy claim. So I did some research into this. So this cream first debuted in 2003 and it has won over 30 awards since then, which is like crazy. So it contains some really great ingredients. So first of all, it contains Padina Pavanica, which helps to firm the skin. It also contains Ginkgo Biloba, which some of you may know is really antioxidant rich. And that helps to really improve like the suppleness of the skin and the elasticity of the skin. Some of the pros of this product, because it is an expensive product, but I think there are a lot of pros in this product. Um, and I think it does a really great job. So first of all, it contains SPF 30, which is great because some days you just don't want to put sunscreen on. If you're not wearing makeup that has SPF in it, or you don't want to wear makeup, this does provide you with that extra layer of protection. It's also suitable for all skin types which is great so anything from you know dry oily combination normal skin types can use this product i love that it provides a really great firming action in the skin in addition to hydration and it has a really great consistency so it's sort of like a gel slash cream consistency and so it doesn't feel greasy like sunscreen with the spf obviously can sometimes feel a little bit greasy but it's not like totally a cream kind of feeling so it's a very interesting texture which i actually really love and it really gives it a nice luxury feel it's also really nice because a little bit goes a long way so while this is an expensive product and i I would say that that is basically the biggest con of this product the biggest downside to this product is that it is pricier i think it's really nice that a little bit does go a long way and so it takes like a long time to get through such a big jar like this so that being said although one of the cons i would say is that it is more expensive they do have sales pretty frequently on their website so you can usually get 15 to 20 percent off of the regular price but some people have reported who have reviewed this that um, it tends to pill under the makeup so it probably might depend on like what other products you use with it um, what kind of makeup you use obviously i've never had that experience so I really can't speak to that but that is something to consider and then as usual if you are adverse to heavily scented products I would definitely avoid this one unfortunately so overall this is a must-have in my skincare routine I do not plan on getting rid of it anytime soon um, I think it really helps to hydrate and moisturize my skin I've definitely noticed kind of a plumping firming action from using it on a daily basis so I will tend to use this in the morning after I've completed my skincare routine before I put my makeup on I love this product like I think it is worth every penny especially because a little bit goes a long way all right so next up is the absolute eye mask so this is a hydrating eye mask that is specifically um, formulated to be used on the sensitive kind of under eye area of your skin and it really helps to minimize dark circles and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so first of all it contains corn flour extract which is rich in flavonoids so this has anti-inflammatory properties that can help to soothe the skin and that kind of tired puffy um, look under the eye it also can help to tone and sort of lighten and brighten those areas and so if you are prone to dark circles this might be a really great product for you to try it also contains camellia oil which is also called tea seed oil so that's something that's actually long been a staple in japanese skincare it's an ingredient that is really antioxidant rich with omega-3s omega-6s and omega-9s and it really helps to nourish and hydrate the skin and kind of condition that area under the eye and it's also able to help with soothing kind of any irritated skin that's under the eye as well and lastly it also contains rose oil which is fantastic because it has a really nice calming um, aromatherapy kind of effect and it also can help to soothe and calm the skin so in terms of the pros of this product i really Really love it because it's very tingly and I can like feel it working on my skin when I'm using it. I would also say that a pro is the aroma. It is not heavily scented so if you are adverse of course to heavily scented products once again I recommend this product as opposed to some of the other ones in this video. A little bit also goes a long way which is nice and I have definitely noticed an improvement in my under eye area from using this product. I've had to use less of my concealing cream so if that's something that you struggle with like kind of that under eye puffiness and dark circles and such I would definitely recommend giving this product a try. One con is that some people who have drier skin 
types or more sensitive skin types have noticed that it will create a more of a drying effect in the under eye area. So if you do have dry skin, do keep an eye out for that. So I use this two to three times per week in the evening after I've washed my face. I'll put a little bit under each eye and kind of the more sensitive, delicate area and let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then I will wipe it off with a damp cloth and apply the rest of my skincare routine, my toner and serums and everything. And then, like I said earlier, I've definitely noticed an improvement in terms of the firming action under the skin and also kind of working with those dark circles and puffiness under the skin. So I definitely would recommend this product. I think it works really well. Okay, so next up I have another face mask. This is the Peptide 4000 Flower Mask. So this is a revitalizing face mask that helps to illuminate and revive skin. So it's formulated with a lot of great stuff. So first of all, it's formulated with peptide 4, which is a tetrapeptide made from different amino acids. And those amino acids help to support the natural kind of rejuvenation and revitalization process of the skin. It's also very mineral rich. So first of all, it contains Nordic peat, and this helps to revitalize dull skin. It also contains Brazilian black clay, which helps to smooth and minimize the appearance of pores. And lastly, the willow complex and lactic acid ingredients help to gently exfoliate the skin and kind of wipe away those dead skin cells. So there have been a lot of independent user trials done on this, and so 98% of individuals who use this product agreed that their skin appeared healthier looking and that it felt more nourished. 97% agreed that the skin appeared more youthful looking, which is fantastic. 96% agreed that their skin looked brighter and more luminous after using this product. And then 96% also agreed that this product reduced the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So does everything that it says it's supposed to do. And I have definitely noticed a difference also with this. I use this product about once per week in the evening. I really love that it does help to kind of restore the moisture in my skin and to help reduce the visibility of those fine lines and those pores in my skin. And it also does seem to help really brighten the skin as well in terms of my complexion. Some of the cons, it's not the best smell. So it's not like a really strong smell, but it's also not like an aromatherapy smell. I think a lot of that is the clay and the peat in the product, which is fine because you're only keeping it on your face for about 15 minutes before you wipe it off. Another con is in terms of wiping it off, they recommend that you use a dark cloth. The reason is that the product itself, of course, is clay-based, and so it is darker in hue, and it could potentially stain your white towels. So the way that I get around that is that I only have like a set of washcloths that I use for face stuff only, and so if it stains my towel, I it's fine, like it's not a big deal. One other con is that some users who have a dry skin type did note that it felt like their skin was more dry after using this, so it is something to keep in mind if you have a drier skin type. Next up is the Papaya Enzyme Peel. I'm a real big fan of face masks, if you hadn't noticed. So this is a gentle cream exfoliator, which helps to kind of relieve tired skin, to soothe the skin, and to leave it looking really radiant and rejuvenated. So it is not abrasive. It helps to create a lighter and brighter complexion. It contains papaya, which does have a gentle exfoliating property. And then it also contains pineapple, which is apparently calming, which I did not know before I um, started researching the ingredients of these products. It also contains something called bladder rack. So my understanding is that this is a type of seaweed that actually can help to soothe irritated dry skin and then also helps to nourish the skin and hydrate the skin and kind of minimize the looks of aging in the skin. It also contains vitamin E for antioxidant properties, which is great, and marine algae, which helps to also provide moisture. So they also have had independent user trials done of this product too that I wanted to cover with you guys. So 98% agreed that this product left their skin feeling soft and smooth. That's excellent. 97% agreed that the product effectively exfoliated the skin without any hard Harsh, um, like uncomfortable side effects. So like some exfoliators are of course like a little bit more harsh because they are stripping things off the skin. And for this one, 97% of users agreed that that was not the case. So that's great. 96% agreed that they left their skin instantly feeling softer and smoother after they used it. And then 96% also agreed that they saw improvement in the texture of dull or lackluster skin. I can account for all of those. I think that this product does an excellent job with exfoliation, um, being really gentle for sensitive skin and helping to lighten and brighten up my complexion. One of the cons of course then being that I feel because it is a gentle exfoliator. It does take a little bit longer to have this kind of in the rotation of your skincare routine before I started to notice a difference, but I do think that it works really well over time. So I will use this about one to two times a week on the nights where I'm not using one of my other face masks, and I will put it on my face, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then wipe it off with a damp cloth. Next up is the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. So this is a gently exfoliating facial wash that helps to kind of promote the natural rejuvenation of skin cells in the face, and then it also helps to sort of exfoliate away any of the dead skin cells that are still in the skin. So it does contain some great products. So first of all, it contains babasu, 
So this is an oil pressed from the seeds of babasu trees, I guess, in the Amazon. And it's really rich in acids that help to really condition the skin. And then it also contains white truffle, which is really great for kind of soothing skin. So the pros of this product are that it is suitable for all skin types. So that's great. It's a really great like deep cleanser in terms of face washes. So this is more of kind of like a traditional lightly exfoliating kind of face wash. So I do use this one with my um, like facial brush that I showed you earlier from Vanity Planet. Another pro that I really like is that the scent is amazing. But once again, that can be a con. So just kind of use your own judgment in terms of how sensitive you are to aromas. Now, some people have reviewed this product and said that it does cause their dry skin to become more dry. So if you do have skin that is on the drier side, uh, I would be careful and maybe kind of use this in a rotation with other face washes that are more hydrating and moisturizing for dry skin types. But overall, I use this several times a week. Um, I kind of rotate it with some of my other face washes that I really love, the Foaming Sika Cleanser and then the Milk Cleanser as well. I think it does a really great job, especially at like removing all the grime and makeup from your face and then kind of prepping everything for toner and for moisturizer. Okay, so the last item I have today is the Bronjapani Mono Oil Body Oil. So this is clearly a sample size body oil and I probably wouldn't have purchased this just like off the bat, but I'm really glad they sent me the sample because it has been really wonderful to try and I probably will be getting the full size of this because I really love this product. So this is a rapidly absorbing, highly moisturizing body oil that you basically apply to your skin after you've showered and washed your body. So it works really well for dry skin and for mature skin. Um, I do find that while I have combination skin type on my face that pretty much everywhere else is fairly dry and so this has been really great for helping to lock in moisture after I shower. So it is a Manoi oil and so this is um, actually a very traditional type of oil preparation from the Polynesian islands where they mix the frangipani um, flowers with coconut oil actually. And so that's traditionally how a manoa oil is made. And so this one is kind of made in that same style. So the coconut oil, first of all, smells like heavenly, of course. I love the smell of coconut oil and it's very like nice and soothing on my skin, but it also is great because it has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. So that could potentially help with um, symptoms of like eczema or dermatitis or other kind of skin conditions. Um, but you should definitely check with your dermatologist first before kind of using this if you do have any of those skin conditions. And then the um, frangipani flowers themselves Themselves, they help to moisturize the skin and also contain antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of their own. So in terms of the pros, I think that this product really works. If you told me that like a body oil after the shower would help to like lock in moisture and it wouldn't cause my skin to feel like super greasy when I'm putting clothes on later on, I would think you're crazy. But like that's the case with this oil. So I put this on after I shower and it doesn't leave like a greasy film or greasy residue or anything like that. It doesn't transfer over to my clothes. It really soaks in and gets absorbed by my skin quite quickly. It is good for all skin types. So that's a really a big plus. And apparently you can also use it for hair treatment about once a week. Their website actually says you can put it on your scalp if you have dry scalp and let leave a hot um, towel or a hot compress over the scalp for about 15 minutes and then wash it out in the shower. I have not tried that yet, but I feel like it would definitely make sense for kind of locking in moisture in the scalp if you do have dry scalp. So in terms of the cons, it's definitely not for anybody who does not like strong aromas, as I mentioned with some other products earlier. One other con is that some of the people who have reviewed this product, they say that it's very hard to get out of the bottle. So it is like a little kind of cap where you just sort of pour it out there. Because of the way this oil kind of is, it can solidify if it gets too cool. So I haven't had personally any issues with that happening, but what they recommend doing is just kind of putting it in a bowl of warm water and allowing it to kind of liquefy um, as the temperature rises and then using it. I feel like if you're going to use it after the shower, you could just put it in like a bowl of hot water from the shower and let it kind of warm up while you're showering and then it'll be ready for use afterwards. So overall my thoughts on this product are that I really love how moisturizing it is. I love that it doesn't leave any sort of greasy oily residue on my skin but it really helps to moisturize. I also really love using it like on my hands and my feet because those areas of my body tend to get more drier and it really does wonders in those areas. All right so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely love the LMS brand as you can tell probably from this video. I hope that you guys found a few products that you want to try. I am going to link everything down below of course as usual if you do think that you want to try anything. So definitely head down to the description box below to check out some of those items. Until next time, bye friends.